children, story time with Mrs Shepherd. Today's story is about understanding, enjoying and respecting what makes each one of us different. Because we're not all the same, are we? You know, and today's story is called That's Not How You Do It. And it's written by Ariane Hoffman Mania. Lucy knew how to do everything. I sure do, she said. She even has a booklet that says how to do everything. She knew how to eat with a spoon and a fork. She knew how to play the xylophone. Lucy knew how to do gymnastics. She's doing uh, cartwheels and with a hoop look and with a ribbon. And she knew how to build a tall tower. She knew how to paint an elephant just right and how to fold perfect stars. Rather nice stars, aren't they? In fact, if you didn't know how to do something, you came to Lucy for help. All those animals who came to Lucy ask her for her help. Everything was fine until the day Toshi arrived. Hi there, said Toshi. And if you look on his suitcase, it says he comes from far away. He did not know how to eat with a spoon or a fork. And Lucy thought, that's not how you do it. His music was strange. And Lucy thought, that's not how you do it. Toshi's gymnastics were all wrong. And Lucy thought, that's not how you do it. And his tower wasn't half as good as Lucy's. And Lucy thought, that's not how you do it. He did not know how to draw an elephant like she did. And Lucy thought, that's not how you do it. And when he started to make a paper star, that was all wrong. Lucy couldn't keep quiet any longer. There they are, look. That's not how you do it! Lucy shouted. Hey Lucy, this is for you. No, too late. It's all right. Come, come in. Come in. Sorry. Sorry. Big and 